Greetings, this is Pillar Nexus, back with another uh, game design from my vault. Uh, this one is... I actually don't have a name for it, I'm just calling it the Unnamed Witch Game. You play as one of six uh, groups, or covens. Um, five great covens, and one that's just kind of the sad remnants of a coven destroyed from a cataclysm from long ago, but that's a different story. Um, they're trying to set up uh, businesses in these cities underneath the banner of a kingdom by bringing their uh, their members into the cities and then building stores. So on your turn, you can do one of two of three things. Um, one is draft, where you take two, take the bag of witches, you draw two, add them to the draft card, and then roll the dice, and two, and two of them are going each to uh, those locations. So I want to send this one here and this one over here. And that leaves three on the draft card. The second option is relocate, where you roll two dice. And then for each of the shown colored cities, you can either move a witch from another city to that city, or from that city to any other city. And finally, there's building store. So a single city has to have these these three colors in one city. And if they do, then you'll take one of your store tokens and put it on the city. You will take one of the matching colors of the main color, and then one of the secondary colors and remove it from the city and it goes out of the game except when other players are involved um which is of a certain color will go to the respective covens as long as they don't already have throw in the card and whenever they would go to draft instead of taking from the bag they can take from their card you can only hold up to three um, once you spend of your own color, you never get to keep on your card. You have to put them back into the bag when building. And then if you're below you, your hand limit, you'll draw a new card to go into your hand. But as you build more and more stores, your hand limit drops. So when you have enough stores, drops to two, then to one, then to zero. If you build ten stores, the game ends. Uh, alternatively, if players have no stores left to draw when they need to, uh, that'll end the game too. And every store is going to have its own little effect. Like when drafting, you know, draw an additional witch from the bag. After drafting, restore the draft card to three. Turn extras to the bag. So that's a permanent power. And then, uh, end of. Also, um, during the game, you can have these black box cards that do various things like being worth multiple cards at the end of the game or messing with your opponents. Alternatively, if you have one at the start of your turn, you can discard it to draw a card, a store card, and then discard a store card from hand. Um, that effect cannot be canceled. This one, however, this one can cancel a black box effect, so be be aware of that. And this one actually lets you draw two. That's nice. So at the end of the game, uh, players will get points as follows. For each city, we check to see which player has the most stores there. Um, everyone else's stores will get flipped over. And the player with the most will flip over all but one. And then get points equal to the flipped over. There's a tie, then the tied players will share the points of the flipped over. 
if like it's a three away tie of or something where everyone has like you know one store no one's getting any points for that we'll do that for each of the cities uh, secondly it's uh, for each store type so there are five store types um, health wealth hope peace and wisdom and the five main will have will count as having an extra store of that type at the end of the game and each player who has for the player that has the most of a given type they will score uh, based on let's see here um, equal to the witches of that color still left in the cities and on the draft card and on player cards so let's say I've got the most of hope so I'll get an extra one two three four points for doing that we'll check that for each of the five types and uh, finally uh, most black box cards at the end will get uh, points uh, equal to the total number of black box cards among all the players that are still in hand so haven't been played and then most points out of that will win uh, tie uh, black box wins ties otherwise most witches of a faction color in play win ties if it's still tied uh, face up number of stores um, from the scoring round if it's still tied on that I don't, I don't know what happens but that's pretty much the game I'm not sure um, what kind of chance this game has but uh, it's probably one of the ones I'm more likely to be willing to test out um, the kind of the planning and and all that reminds me a little bit of Lords of Waterdeep a little bit of uh, Last Call a little bit of having uh, I mean, Liches in business was like mainly inspired by uh, Kiki's delivery service and you know, uh, some of the names are kind of inspired by some stuff like uh, Alicia the Thunderbolt. If you remember Alicia Dragon from Sega Genesis, uh, there you go. But yeah, it's just a simple little game. Uh, I would. It's probably yeah. It's, again, it'd be one I'd be more willing to try out. So uh, thank you for watching and. Here's, here's to the next video.